Hello my friends and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Well, where when you need a friend, you're gonna find one, uh, not by choice, but by uh, uh, compulsion, and that is Germany. In this case, Germany again was forced to um, start providing military aid to Ukraine. Uh, you know, with the guilt shaming tactics. So let's see what else they have to give the Ukrainians. This article comes from the New Voice of Ukraine uh, and this article came on, came on September 15th, 2022. Germany to transfer Dingo armored vehicles, additional Mars 2 rocket launchers to Ukraine. Okay, good. If you got them, why not? Make some money and kill some people, right? In the meantime. German Defense Minister Christine Lambrecht has announced Berlin is ready to transfer Dingo armored vehicles and additional Mars 2 multiple launch rocket systems MLRS to Ukraine. The Bild newspaper reported on September 15th, oh, that is today. Lambrecht clarified Ukraine would get 50 Dingo armored vehicles, two Mars 2 MLRS and 200 rockets, just as a first batch, <laughs> okay? Um, and here Zelensky said, Germany must get on right side of history. <laughs> well, how do you call that? Shaming tactic? The training of the crews to work with this equipment should take place in Germany in September, she said. And I'm quoting, the courageous and successful conduct of operations by the armed forces of Ukraine shows how important it is to quickly provide Ukraine with additional military equipment, Lambrecht said. According to BILD, Dingo cells were considered as an alternative to the transfer of Fuchs armored personal carriers to uh, Ukraine in close coordination with several German ministries. Wait a minute, isn't that Fuchs? Wasn't that uh, French general in the First World War? Wasn't he Fuchs? I think the one that came and signed the uh, um, uh, um, surrender, um, unconditional surrender of Germany. Uh, let me check that out. All right, we almost got it. It was General Fock, not Fuch and he was the French general of the Allied armies in the First World War. And I know him because of, uh, if you remember, the Allies, so-called, they humiliated the Germans in that uh, train carrier, carriage, carriage, where they had the Germans sign the armistice, the capitulation, and then, uh, so Ferdinand Foch, and then when the Germans beat the French in three weeks and uh, when they invaded France, they had the French, they took that, the same carriage that the French put in a museum. They took it from there and they put it over there back where they had signed that thing. And they made the French come in the same uh, train carri carriage and signed their armistice. And over there, it, I think it was a monument of Ferdinand Foch and Hitler just walks, it, so you can see it on video, walks by and looks at Foch and smiles and goes like, I, you. So that's why, oh, Foch, not Fuchs, okay. Anyway, now we don't want to off Ferdinand Foch. Well, so Fuchs armored, I was like, well, well Fox is French and these guys are German, what's going on here? Armored personal carriers to Ukraine in close coordination with several German ministries. The Dingo is an armored wheeled vehicle used to, for patrol and re reconnaissance. The, the Bundeswehr has more than 500 vehicles of this type in various modifications. And then we have on September 7, Germany said it would not supply Dingo armored vehicles to Ukraine, arguing that it needs them for its own army. What changed? Germany, remember Second World War? And hey, I'm Zelensky, and this is Mihal, and the other one is Revnikov. 
three of us. You don't want to help us? Oh my God, remember the Second World War? And that's how it worked. It didn't have to be told like this. You know, they know better. Moreover, German newspaper Die Welt reported on September 6th that German Chancellor Olaf Scholz had refused to supply Leopard's two tanks to the armed forces of Ukraine. Do you think he supplied them? <laughs> Commenting on, on this, uh, Scholz said his country was helping Ukraine enough with weapons while the decision to transfer any military equipment should be made in coordination with allies. Do you mean waiting for orders from the allies? There's no allies over there. It's just vassal states. That's why it is. And you are a vassal, very low bottom feeder, pop, 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 you know, like carps, like a fish as a bottom feeder. <laughs> sucks, sucks from the bottom of the, of the lake. Whatever falls over there. He's not fighting, he's not strong, he's not. He's just, I'm um, eating whatever remained over here. I'm good, my life is good. Uh, any food? Yeah. No food? <laughs> food? That's what is a bottom feeder. Like, lowest on the in a food chain. You know? It's not attacking anything, it's just. There's food on the bottom, pop, 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 dropped by some other people who killed something up there, somewhere in the top, food chain. So, yeah, the Germans will supply uh, uh, those three guys, the Trinity, uh, will supply them with whatever those guys were or want, because they will be shamed by their newspapers, who are also Rammstein, Funkenstein, and Zelenskinstein and Jimmy Jimmy Hals and all those guys so in mass media so they will shame the Germans again with something that they didn't do uh, particularly and so it's like uh, the other ones are pure these ones are just pure pure evil <laughs> that's the only difference well I'm telling you Ukraine will be provided with much more we all already know, already know that when I told you about my mountain slope theory they stop with, oh, let's help Ukraine, okay, let's send them some, I don't know, socks, let's send some underwear, some, I don't know, helmets, condoms, then some ammunition, some rifles, some, I don't know, stop signs, and then go with um, multiple rocket launchers, and then with some this and some that, airplanes, tanks, and everything at the end. They, uh, by the time they get on the mountain slope, and we're gonna use nuclear weapons to defend Ukraine. Yeah, that's what's going to happen. So they talk about now receiving uh, airplanes and uh, they will receive tanks uh, and all that. It's just, uh, well, that's fine. And the Russians will use about one nuclear weapons and everybody's going to be, oh, stop right here. Right, you think this guy's... It's the same thing as in a society. The middle class is the buffer class that immediately can fall down into poverty. So they don't want to go back there. So yeah, they're going to be the buffer, they're going to help the leadership vote with them against the big masses of people who are poor. That's the role of these guys. And these guys are the most corrupt because to keep their positions, they would vote with those guys against those guys. So they are, they're fighting here, not those guys, those are far away. So that's the way it is with these guys. They, uh, you know, they, they, they stay away. They, they, the, the countries with... Uh, uh, middle class and very well they have the most to lose because they have a standard of living but if you're poor as shit you have nothing to lose you know what I mean so you can afford throwing a few bombs what are you gonna do you want to throw some bombs I'm gonna throw some more and some more some more who has to to lose more we're gonna lose our lives with by before we get there you're not gonna have air conditioning you're not gonna have Pepsi Cola you're not gonna have your stupid television uh, uh, programs and your games and all that but we don't have any of those so we don't lose anything so by the time you get lower 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 you hurt 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 anyway thank you very much for being with me again today stay strong stay smart look for the truth and be just